Five plus two. Ooh, if we haven't met yet, my name is Daylene, and this is my channel where I talk about cross stitch and quilting and a little bit of sewing and a little bit of cross stitch and my grandbabies and what I'm grateful for and food. <laughs> Always food. Welcome. Oh, I missed you. Uh, today is Friday, February 28th, so we're almost at the end. Ooh, everyone's, oh, not everyone, but some people are starting a leap year start. So I thought maybe after this video I would uh, sift through some of my patterns and see if I had something that might uh, grab my interest and I might want to start it tomorrow. So ooh, I'd love to hear if you're starting one. That'd be kind of fun to hear about that. Okay, the food. You want to hear about the food. Okay, let's start out with three different kinds of Girl Scout cookies. Ooh, you, I'm sitting by the window right now so you can see the um, the glare, sorry. Okay, inside here are three kinds of Girl Scout cookies that I made. Okay, first of all, the one, the one there's only one left, so hurry over. <laughs> you can have that one. <laughs> it is the Samoa. Um, those are the ones that have the coconut and the little drizzle of chocolate on the top. Okay, th those are, obviously really good there's one left uh, then I made the tagalongs um, they have the uh, shortbread crust and then filled with peanut butter and then dipped in chocolate and then yep I made the thin mints oh you're gonna love them <gasps> they're so good okay first of all get five dollars ten dollars and donate it to the girl scouts when you walk by okay they're sitting at those tables they're trying to earn money for camp and last year when my uh granddaughter sold uh girl scout cookies you could make a donation and then they donated you you could pay for a box of cookies and then they donated it to the local fire department and so they got to go to a fire department and take a tour and they got to drop off lots of cookies for the firemen and, and fire women and uh some Girl Scouts I know um, that I have donated money to in the past, they've given them to military folks. So you don't have to eat the cookies. I can't. And uh, to be honest, they're not my super favorite uh, cookies, but you know, okay, that's, that's honest. Um, but everybody's buying them and you want to be part of something and you want to be, you want to eat the Thin Mints too. So these cookies, they're gluten-free and dairy-free and they use maple syrup instead of sugar um there's some they're amazing i feel like i want to take this off so you can see them better oh oh aren't they good they're really okay there's that one small that was up oh it smells like the thin mints right now when you take the lid off they're so good okay i um i put a picture on instagram and i put a picture on facebook so if you want to see them up close and that recipe is from eating bird food and I, uh, her name's Brittany and I tell you spot on copycat cookies they're so good the textures perfect the flavors perfect it's just dreamy and delicious and you feel like it's a decadent treat so uh, I highly recommend and it's super easy super easy so apparently I need to make more of those uh, ones with a little bit of coconut in them so <laughs> Anyway, that's a good, that's a good thing. Very good thing. Okay, today I don't have a quilt. Today I have, look, the fireplace behind me. Okay, I'll be honest. <laughs> I had the fireplace on. I thought it would look really warm and cozy and inviting. It's a cloudy, rainy day here in Washington State. And I got so hot sitting here. I was sweating. I mean, excuse me, I was glowing and I thought, I can't, I just, I can't sit through a whole video with this fire coming at me. Okay, let's talk about the fireplace. I know you, you probably think, what? I don't want to talk about the fireplace. I do. Okay, let's do a DIY. Do it yourself. Okay, so everybody's looking for where they can find money to spend at all those beautiful charts at market. That you can add up pretty quick. So I have an idea of how you can save some money. I know, you're like, she's a crazy girl. All right, here's the thing. Okay, so uh, we live in a house that's about uh, 20 years old and the fireplace was a builder. You know, everybody in my neighborhood has the same fireplace and it has this kind of tile all the way around it and on the floor. So it's this creamy, plain, vanilla a little bit boring let's admit it a little bit boring 
uh, surround tile. It's the real tile. It, they, everybody's got it. Everybody in my neighborhood has the same tile. Okay, I wanted new tile. To retile this fireplace is about $1,400. That's a lot of cross stitch money. That's a lot of fabric. That's a lot of thread. Okay, guess what I did? Okay, so I went to this place called Snazzy Decals. Okay, they're on Etsy. Now, my son is a graphic uh, designer, and so he went and talked to them and found out what kind of materials they use. And the materials that they use are top of the line. It's the kind of stuff that goes uh, on airplanes or submarines. It's, the, it's really, really thick vinyl. You, they wrap buildings in it. They put it on cars. So it's the tough stuff. Okay, so you order it from Pauline. Oh my gosh, this company is so great. She's super friendly, super helpful. She doesn't really have to do anything for you. It's so easy. Okay, so you order. Oh, they have a million choices. So that's up to you. You're going to have to sit there with a couple cups of coffee and go through. They have so many choices. It's great. Okay, so I picked the choice that I liked. Um, I sent them some money. And I'll be honest, it was... Um, uh, right around a hundred dollars and I needed for down below and surrounding the fireplace and it came lickety split like a couple days later all right so you get your vinyl pieces and you can use a credit card or I have this um, it's just hard piece you put your you unstick you know you just peel it off the back you put it exactly on the tile and then you squeegee it on and it is on there for good. It's stuck. And the next morning when I woke up and I ran out here to see if all the time, all the sticker vinyl was on the floor, it wasn't. It's still stuck on there. Anyway, okay, so you don't put it where the grout is. So when you have people looking at it and they come over to your house, they are wowed by the beautiful, beautiful tile that you have in your house. So look at that. I love it. I, it totally, it's just vinyl on top of your piece of tile. That's it. You can walk on it. You can do it in the bathroom. You can do a backsplash. You can do a entranceway, which I'm doing next. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Once I got the tile on, it, uh, it took me about two and a half hours to do all the vinyl. Uh, just get it on there straight. You use the little you know, credit card or what have you to squeegee out any of the air bubbles. Um, and it is removable. So if you uh, end up moving or want to change colors or what have you, you do have, you kind of have to pick that corner and you really have to use both hands to kind of pull it off. So it is stuck on there. However, if you do uh, change your mind or want something different, you can you can definitely take it off. But um, anyway, okay, I love it. I love every bit of it. I love, love, love. I love that it's not $1,400. I love the quality. I love the look of it, the color. Everything was just perfect. So I had written her a thank you note. I wrote Pauline a thank you note to say thanks. I love your company. I mean, you all write thank you notes when you're happy, don't you? Okay, so I wrote her this thank you note, and I just told her that it looked gorgeous, 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 and she was super happy that I was happy, and then I said, oh, I promise I'm going to tell all my floss tube friends, and she said, what's floss tube? So I kind of had to explain it, and she's like, oh my gosh, oh, let's do a coupon, so she gave me a coupon for 10% off if you spend over $50, so I thought that was really nice. So when you order your, um, if you if you decide to order your vinyl, in the coupon code part, you write 10 so grateful. All, all smooshed together, uh, capital letters. I'll, pu I'll put it down below so that you can remember. Uh, but wasn't that nice? I, I thought it was super nice. So, um, And then we uh, ordered um, a new mantle and Mr. Wright put that in. It looks gorgeous. I'm super, super happy with it. And uh, I, I don't know. I just wanted to share. I thought it was a great way to kind of update your look and uh, get a look you, you wanted in your house for backsplash or uh, entranceway or bathroom floor or whatever you want to, uh, whatever tile you want to cover. So anyway, oh, snazzy decals. I love them. Mwah! Thanks a lot for helping me and helping me save money so I can spend more on cross stitch. So yay. <laughs>
Okay. 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 Enough. Enough. I'm sorry. I'm just. I just love. I just love it. I sit out here. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to look at it. Okay. So let's talk about some sewing. Let's see. Okay. First of all, I have um, some housekeeping. Uh, Caroline at Off the Grid Needle Arts. Mm, she's having a little bit of a tough time. She is, I believe, right this minute at the hospital with gallbladder problems. So could we all please send her some good karma, good energy, amazing, magical healing. That girl is one of the best of the best floss tubers. She's the nicest girl you're, you're ever going to meet. And, um, uh, we, we got we got the call we got to send her some good energy she needs all of our hugs and wishes and kindness and oh caroline please get well soon Mwah. we love you okay so a uh, couple of the other things one person asked me a question about would i review the light that i use when i went on vacation okay so remember you can put it behind your um neck it's flexible it has a it has a uh, what do you call that velcro so it holds where you want to put it while you're stitching okay so i used it the whole time i was on vacation um okay i won't oh there you go i just kind of a little bit pointed it at you sorry um okay so point it's bright bright light you have i think you have three choices you know three levels um anyway i used it in the airplane i used it in all the different hotels it was marvelous okay so it also comes with a cord where you can plug it in and recharge it oh yeah right there you plug it in to recharge it but i never had to the whole time i was on vacation i was gone uh nine or ten days and i used it every single day and super comfortable it worked beautiful i didn't need to use that overhead light in the airplane so yay thumbs up i highly recommend so uh i'll i'll link it below again so in case you you were interested and you wanted to uh get one for yourself or maybe oh that'd be a cool gift to give somebody a, a you know your stitchy friend that would be really cool okay so i had three different questions about this piece okay so this piece i made last year and this is um I put a sticker on there. Uh, this is Spring Hair by Lottie Daw. And I stitched it on 32 count beige linen. And this is just a frame uh, I got at Michael's. I think there was a whale in there. And then I just glued it in there. Added a little, a little uh, fancy doodah at the bottom there. Anyway, okay. So the questions, that the three questions. One was about the linen. And the other was about the color of the thread I used for the alphabet. Can you see? Okay, so the alphabet I used silken colors, and this is called Autumn on the Cape, number 163. All right, so here, let's put this on this so you can see it. It is... Um, pinks and greens and lavender and purple and a, one of the colors uh I, I didn't really care for it was way too light for the letter a so i just took my um i just took my thread and then just cut you know cut a section where i wanted to use the the darker color so that it would show up a little bit better on that one color but anyway that was not what was called for um i I think it's Gentle Arts, or they also had the DMC conversion. So anyway, that's the name of the thread. If you're interested in doing that, um, you know, kind of variegated. It's kind of, I know it's called Autumn on the Cape, but it's kind of springy, and I I love it. I, I went into a quilt shop, and they happened to have some threads on a, a round, and I, did, oh, I just fell in love with this color, so... That's why I did it. Um, you know, Vonna Pfeiffer did um, the same pattern, but she made this bunny into a stuffed animal kind of bunny. It is so charming. It'll take your breath away. So if you get a minute, hop on over to uh, Twisted Stitcher, uh, Vonna Pfeiffer. Uh, back, I think it was back in the beginning of spring when she showed it. And it's so cute and so clever. I, I just think you'll love it. But if you want to stitch it and you want to use a thread, uh, silken colors, autumn on the cape. So that's what I used. Thanks for asking the question. 
that was nice. Um, I think they asked it on Instagram. I had posted that picture last year, so it was kind of fun to, to get a question because I kind of think, ooh, they might be making it for spring. So that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Uh, oh, okay. One other question that I got was, what are the names of my chickens? Okay, I can see the chicken coop from here right out the window. Okay, uh, Ginger, and she's uh, six and a half years old and still laying eggs, so that's kind of nice. Uh, then I have, um, I have Margaret Hatcher. She's a little bit bossy and uh, in charge, or she thinks she's in charge. And then I have Dolly Madison. I got her on the 4th of July, but we don't really call her Dolly. <laughs> Mr. Wright started calling her Puddinghead because she just was um, a little not kept up well. Sometimes she has feathers sticking out and he just calls her Puddinghead. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, and then the other chicken that I have, her name was Queen Frostine. Uh, my little grandson, Cooper, he named uh, named that particular chicken. And can you tell? We were playing uh, Candyland, so he thought that would be the perfect name. So those are the names of my chickens. So Okay, oh, uh, last week I said that I would have a drawing for the, um, the piece that I finished, uh, Daffodil and Friends by Snowflower Diaries. And I added some buttons to it. Um, just in case you wanted to put some buttons on the bottom like I did. Um, it turned out super cute, super fun. Okay, so I had 80 comments. Oh, by the way, thanks so much for all your comments for Cindy. Remember, our question was, where do you get fabric online? Because she, she, she lives in the town next to me. So she doesn't have an LNS close by. And so she said, where do you get fabric so that you could see the color or know the color? Or is it... Or what to stitch on and she was trying to find some fabric to stitch one of those uh, chalk designs on holy Toledo I'm telling you 80 comments everyone had great comments great suggestions I think we kind of shocked Cindy and surprised her and thank you thank you so much for for helping out uh, a fellow, a fellow uh, cross stitcher that was really really lovely so anyway Okay, so I had I put that number I put the uh, for a random generator number, and I picked pulled a number. Okay, so rem okay this is so floss tube magic. This is the magic of floss tube that I, this is, I love this. Okay, this is the pattern that I was giving away, daffodil and friends, two little bunnies. See them there. Okay, do you want to know who won? You're you're gonna be so surprised. You're you're just gonna think what. Okay, I did not do this. The random generator number picked this person, pops up. This is what her comment was. So glad that you had a great vacation. Grandparents are so important in the lives of children. I just ordered 32 count chalkboard black from 123 Stitch. Great resource, uh, quick delivery. Look forward to your next video. Do you wanna know what her name is, who won? Bunny E. Martins. Congratulations, Bunny! Can you believe it? Isn't that the best? It's a bunny pattern of bunnies and her name is Bunny? It, that's magic. That's magic. I'm telling you. That's wonderful. Congratulations, Bunny. I don't really know if that's your Christian name, but that would be kind of cool. So, anyway. <laughs> Congratulations and thanks for playing along and thank you everybody for all your comments and I'm sure I'm, I'm gonna speak for Cindy thank you for Cindy because of all of the great comments I'm sure she has lots of ideas and suggestions okay uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was I got to go to a stitching event um, it's called the kits up stitchers and they meet at a Michaels uh, I think they have lunch first and they meet at a Michaels. They have a classroom there that they let them use for free, which was really lovely. And when I went, I got some really cool goodies. Look, Becca made this for me. I, did, I didn't have one. It's you I like. She put it on a star ornament. Right now it's hanging in my sewing. Well, not the second. The second I'm holding it. But when, when I'm not holding it in front of the camera, it's in my sewing room holding this, hanging up. It's so nice. She did it in gray, my favorite color. It's just so nice. I, I got pens and candy and goodies and I got hugs and, the, and everybody was so intelligent. Really smart group of girls. Um, let's see, it's about an hour from me and I had to drive across the Narrows Bridge. Uh, I live, uh, it, it's, uh, when you, 
the Narrows Bridge. All right, let's talk about it. We've all seen pictures. If you don't, you can look it up on, on the magical Google. Okay, so the Narrows Bridge. Hmm. That was my first time with a flying lesson. I flew over the Narrows Bridge. And then I went kayaking one time and went under the Narrows Bridge and the currents are crazy wild under that bridge. And I got slammed against the shore twice and I had to kind of figure my way out of it and get back out there because I had to catch up with my group and it was thrilling and exhilarating and scared and I felt amazing once I pulled myself together and got back out there. So I've flown over it, I've kayaked under it, and then they built a second Narrows Bridge right next to it. So I walked across it when they, right before they let all the cars go, they had a special weekend where everybody could walk across it. And um, so we walked over and back. So that was exciting. And now I drove across it to go to some Kitsap Stitcher meetup. So it was really great. The water was beautiful, glassy, glassy, calm and beautiful. And it was a really lovely drive. Um, I had a great time. I got to stitch with other folks. There was a freebie table. There was all kinds of ideas and suggestions. Ooh, that reminds me. One of the gals there, she was working on um, Coffee Quakers. This is, uh, and I promised that I would show mine. This is the one that I did. It's a shadow box. I filled it with coffee beans at the bottom. And she was stitching and said uh, some of the pieces she thought were like too close together or they were touching and she was gonna leave a little space. I did. I, this is a um, Coffee Saves Lives. Uh, or no, this one is the First I Drink the Coffee by Beth Twist, Heartstring Samplery. And you know, I think Beth would be okay with us adding a little extra in between so that you could see the pieces. Uh, I, I love this. I, I changed and added a little bit of blue in mine so that it would go with my uh, Polish pottery and now my fireplace with a little bit of blue on it. <laughs> anyway, it was, it, was a, it was just so fun. It was a blast to be there with the other stitchers. They're smart and kind and they were so friendly. And I mean, it, I was a little bit nervous about walking in, but um, Audrey Stitchy Witch 42 was there. So when I saw her, I kind of took a deep breath like, oh good, I know somebody. You know, you know, like when you walk into a fourth grade classroom when you don't know anybody. You know, it's like, oh yay, Audrey's there. And then Aaron Two Martini Stitcher came and I was like, oh yay, I know somebody else. And I knew Becca. And so it was really fun to meet new people and see what they were stitching on in person. And some people stitched on big, huge frames and some people stitched in hand. and all different counts of fabric and oh it was just so much fun so thanks gals for inviting me i had a wonderful time and i promise i'm going to come back and visit you again it was it was so good i was still smiling the next day it just kind of lifts you up and lifts your spirits it was it was good it's it's really really a good group so thank you thank you thank you uh oh i have a finish would you like to see my finish okay it's called peace on earth another lottie da there we go. I'll try to get it a little closer for you. I stitched this on feldspar and um, I laced it. It's ready for a perfect 8x10 frame. I just have to find the right 8x10 frame. And um, a friend, a stitchy friend sent this pattern to me. I made it and then she said, when you're done, could you please pass it on to somebody else and write your name in there? So we're just keeping it going, keeping the goodness going. Peace. Peace on earth. Pass it on. Isn't that a great thing? This is a really, really great community. And that, that's a wonderful idea. And I love that bird. I love that bird. So pretty. So pretty. I feel like I'm just talking a mile a minute. I guess that's what you tuned in for. If I just sat here and didn't say anything, that would be kind of weird. Anyway, gotta look at my notes. Look at my notes. All right. Let's talk about my work in progress okay savior's praise by shakespeare's peddler i have done a little bit of work on it since last we visited can you see it there you go there you go okay a couple things have happened since last we met okay first of all i have been stitching for 42 years not on this one piece but overall 
Uh, and when I quilt, I hand quilt some of the time, that's my favorite, and I thread 12 needles at a time, and then I start quilting for the evening, and then at the end of the evening, I count my needles. And I have used uh, different, I've tried all kinds of different needles, and I've been using uh, the ballpoint needle for this, and I had bought two, and this week, I lost a needle. I have no idea. Yes, I've used a magnet. Yes, we vacuumed. Yes, we use a big, huge, bright light. Mr. Wright was on his hands and knees feeling. We looked everywhere. I can't believe I lost a needle on this. Ugh. All right. Anyway, I usually so careful because I didn't want the dog or the kids or the husband or me or anyone to step on one. So I try to count. I try to be careful. Anyway. Okay, another thing happened. My college roommate commented on Facebook because I added the word Bellingham. That's where I went to college. And she said, did you work on that when you were in college? Well, no, I was also born in Bellingham, Washington. So I added the place where I was born. So it was kind of fun to touch base with her and, find, and talk. And uh, so that was kind of interesting that, she, that she, she's not a stitcher. So that was kind of neat that she noticed it. Uh, I added the year 1962 to my lineup here. That's the year I was born. And then um, a friend saw this picture on Facebook and she lives in Arizona and she said, oh gosh, your work is so beautiful. I wish I could do that. I stitched a long time ago when I was in school, but you know, they've now retired to Arizona. And she said, I, I just, that's just such a big, beautiful piece. I'm inspired. I wish I could do it. And I said, not every piece has to be huge and big and overwhelming and why can't it be small and fun? And she said, well, maybe it could. So I sent her an, a suggestion from 123 Stitch, the five o'clock at somewhere, uh, Erin, two martini stitchers, she did that. A small piece with DMC. The pattern wasn't very much money, $6. And she's delighted. She's gonna start stitching again. So I'm gonna try to help her if she has a couple questions, but isn't that wonderful? I, that made me so happy. So, hi Kimberly. So, I, I wish you all the luck in the world. We all do. And if you have any questions, we're your friends now. We're all going to help you get back into stitching. So, uh, anyway, uh, this piece I decided that I was going to stitch on it every single day, just a little bit, uh, during Lent. And this is the piece that I'm going to try to give myself a little grace and not chase that perfection that I seem to chase. So uh, during Lent, I'm going to uh, take a deep breath and calm down a little bit. And so one of the uh, parts on here, I'm not gonna show you where, I uh, got a little loop in the back when I was done uh, with one little motif. And I thought, oh, I should pull out 20 some stitches and fix that little loop that got in there. And then I decided to leave it. Uh, Michelle at Michelle, uh, I think her name, what's her title? Michelle McGraw Creates. That's the name of her floss tube. She was talking about the backs of her pieces. She doesn't care. She really doesn't care. She's happy. She wants to stitch. She's been stitching for years. And I thought, you know what? I need to take a little bit of that and stop beating myself up about being so precise. So I'm really trying to focus on the good not so much chasing after perfection. So anyway, this is going to be my Lenten piece and I'm going to try to put a, little, put a few stitches in every single day for 40 days and I think that'll make me pretty happy. So uh, one other thing that makes me happy. Okay, so I buy this, this is foam core. I had it in my sewing room. I had a few of them stacked behind the door and that's what I use and cut and lace my pieces or pin my pieces on. And you know, Mr. Wright, writes me a note every day he stole the piece of the <laughs> he stole my piece of foam core and this was sitting out in the kitchen one morning a big huge note with stickers and all kinds of things on it and i was like oh, you can't really be mad that he stole my piece of foam core anyway that that's on the back of my piece right now so all right all right so i love that piece uh, you can tell, you know what, that is Shakespeare's Peddler, um, and that is A Savior's Praise by Teresa Vignette. 
and you know that is a stitcher that created that because there's so many places where she gives you a little grace everything doesn't have to match up of course the border matches up and but there are so many places where you could be one stitch off and it's okay you can keep going you can keep going so it's a beautiful piece it's a pleasure to stitch i i really really love it i, I use uh, mostly all dmc i think there's four fancy floss but the rest is all dmc so i i'm just i'm really loving it loving it loving it let's talk bags you want to talk about project bags okay let's talk okay first of all let's talk about okay Everything Susie Reno does. If Susie Reno says to do it, I do it. If she says to buy it, I buy it. I don't, I don't know what my... What, I don't know what. <laughs> anyway, she talked about this little pattern. It's called uh, Bridget's Baguettes. They're called baguettes. I, I love that. I love that. Okay, here, let me show you a regular size pattern. This is a regular size project bag. Uh, this is what I keep Savior's Praise in. Oh, it is R&R &R Linen Espresso. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so this is how big the bag is. This is the baguette. <laughs> it's adorable. Look how little this is. Okay, it has the little zipper. It has, you can, it has a little zipper. Oh, let me take this little card out. Okay, so it's just tiny. It's to be able to put one or two threads, a little mini pair of scissors. Um, it's a perfect little gift for somebody. I bought some fabric for my grandbabies, so I'm going to be making little tiny uh, little bags. I thought I could put some goodies in there or maybe a little gift card or um, anyway, super, super easy pattern. It comes in three different sizes. See the biggest one uh, rotary cutter fits in, so they're not very big. So that was fun. So Susie Reno strikes again that I had to do what Susie Reno does. Everything she does, I have to do. I have no idea why because she's great and she's smart and she's sassy and she's funny and I want to be like her. Okay, I got a gift in the mail. Okay, this is from Kaylin at Stitch Art Studios. Okay, I wrote that note to myself. She didn't put that note in there. <laughs> Look at this beautiful bag she made. These colors are gorgeous. Really rich, deep color, purple, light blue dark blue black oh my gosh okay so she makes these project bags at kaylin at stitch art studio and the profits go to wires the australian wildlife rescue organization thank you so much kaylin she's in she's in canada she's in canada sent that to me Ooh, ooh, look at ooh, that color's good there you go Ooh, cover my face and you can see a really it's just so good and her stitching is so nice it is beautiful it's just precision stitching and she has this really cute little tab that she has on the zipper thank you that was so thoughtful of you I really really appreciate it and that's so kind that you're giving the profits to the um, uh, rescue uh, Australian wildfire rescue that's wonderful. So anyway, I promise I'll link it below. Bag number three. Look at this gorgeous fabric. Holy Toledo. Oh, there's a little bee. I love this fabric. I need this fabric. Okay. Talk. Uh, oh, and look at how beautiful she quilted the inside. Okay. Guess what? I got to go have cappuccino with one of my subscribers. I know. I got to go to one of our favorite French bakeries in Washington. I love it. And we got to sit for two hours and visit and drink cappuccino and have little snacks. Okay, the visiting was so good. This is how good it was. It was so good. I did not finish my pastry. I was like picking at it and enjoying a little bite of here or there, but I was more interested in visiting. She's the best. Okay, she doesn't know I'm going to say this, but I'm going to say it. Well, she brought this to me. That was so nice. All right. She is a caregiver 24-7. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And she got to come out for coffee for a couple hours, and she spent her two hours with me. Okay. Her husband's having some tough times right now. She's having some tough times. I'm putting out the call. 
You got the call. Here it is. We all have to send Barbara good wishes, good karma, extra energy, good hugs, anything you can think of that's positive and good karma, please send to Barbara, one of our subscribers. She's in our circle. She's in our stitching circle and we got to help her. You got to send an idea what she can do for five minutes to relax and recuperate and rejuvenate. We got to send her uh, good wishes and good karma. She's, she's, she's having a hard time. We need to be there and lift her up, lift up her spirits. Please pray for her and her family. She's the best. It, it, I, I got to spend two hours visiting with her and drinking cappuccino and laughing and talking about stitching and her stitching is so good. This bag, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. No, she does not sell them. She made one just for me. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Thanks. I, I loved meeting up. It was fun. It was happy. I smiled the rest of the day. It was, it was just wonderful. Thank you so much. I, I just had a really good time and you know, the cappuccino was fabulous. So, uh, anyway, if you could, if you get a second, if you have, if you, if you believe in prayer, if you believe in karma or good wishes, could you spend just 15 seconds and send some good wishes Barbara's way. We all would appreciate it. She would appreciate it and she's going to feel it. There's a couple thousand of us sending good wishes her way. That's the best. That's a good, that's a good thing. So thanks. Thanks very much. Okay. Let's talk about some floss tube. I've been watching some floss tube. Oh, you know what? I have one thing. Okay. I, when I talked about losing that needle, there is a gal from Canada. I think her name was Cheryl. I think so. Anyway, she ordered some of the uh, ballpoint tip needles and she said hers had a little burr on it and she was super frustrated because it cost a lot of money to mail postage and then she had to pay customs. So it was an expensive date for her and she was a little, little disappointed. And I said something to my husband and he said, well, she could try really, really fine. Um, not, not SOS pad. What is that? Steel wool. Sorry. Ooh, that was, that was crazy. Okay. Steel wool on the end. And then I went online and I read where you could use a emery board, uh, for doing your fingernails and just use a light emery board to take that little rough edge off. But if any of you have any other suggestions of what she might do, please leave the comments below. And I promise I'll share the ideas with her because you know, I mean, it's kind of a lot of money and we want her to be happy and we want her to try those, those needles because some of us that have tried them love them. So, okay, so we got two ideas for her, the emery board and the steel, very, very, very fine steel wool. So if you have any other ideas, please leave them below. Okay, so floss tube, you know, here's the thing. Sometimes you're just not feeling chipper and happy and perky and who do you turn on? You turn on the sunshine, sunshine stitchers. That's who you turn on. Shelia and EJ and Gary. <laughs> They are the best. They're funny. They crack me up. Oh, they have beautiful stitching. Just stunning. Even if you just turned the volume off and you just watched, it's impressive. The amount of stitching they show, the beautiful patterns, the work, but turn the volume on. They're funny. They lift you up. They just somehow by you watching them, your spirit is just lifted up and you're smiling and happy and it's the best. It's just the best. And I feel like that when I watch the stitching with the sister leaves, I feel like I'm just so dang happy. They're funny. And she does a joke every week. I love that. Thanks Cheryl. <laughs> I just, I, they're, they're getting, they have little baby chickens now. So we're going to be watching the chickens and they're going to be naming the chickens. And I, they're just funny. They, they're happy. I know stuff happens in life. Believe me, I know. And it's not so fun. So sometimes one of the best parts of floss tube is just going there watching and you just fit in. You feel comfortable. Anna, Stitch Rody, she said that. And it's like, you know, we are more alike than we're different. And it's so fun. It's so fun to just sit and relax and not talk about politics or religion or grumpiness or grouchiness or medical problems. You just get to go and enjoy the stitching. Ah, it's, it's a pleasure. It's like a huge relief off your shoulders. You turn on Brenda and the cereal stitch or cereal starter. 
Brenda and Laura, I'm telling you, I sit there like a fourth grade girl, swinging my legs, drinking my coffee, just happy as can be. I just, everybody just lifts you up. It's, it's, it's a wonderful community. It's, it's so great. So, and I found a new cross stitcher this week. I don't know where I've been. She's been there. I guess six or seven videos. I guess I've been under a rock, but anyway, her name's Jennifer. She's from Texas, so she's got that great Southern drawl. She's called the Calculated Stitcher, and I promise I'll uh, link it below so that you can watch her too. Wow, she has some beautiful things. Oh, kind of takes your breath away, and she's sweet and silly and funny and she's a quilter and uh, everything about her. I just love her. Just love her. So, Go check her out. I think I think you'll like seeing her too. Or maybe all of you have watched all six of her videos and none of you told me to go see her. So hmm, we got to share, people. We got to share. All right. What do we got here? Whoa, I'm almost at the end. What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for Girl Scout cookies, homemade, that are healthy and all that and none of the bad stuff and dairy-free and gluten-free and I can have them. Apparently, I've eaten, eaten my share of Samoa's nice cappuccino and a cookie. It's the best. Oh, I'm grateful for 19 daffodils that are blooming in my yard. Uh, I'm grateful for, ooh, I saw two woodpeckers. The the lady and the man, I think, I think they're boyfriend and girlfriend or husband and wife or something. They came to my suet feeder and I got to watch them and oh, the colors of their feathers are gorgeous and they were just enjoying their little suet snacks. So I love that. That was the best. That was really good. What else am I grateful for? Ooh, I got a new uh, hummingbird feeder out my kitchen window. That was a good thing. That was a really good thing. I, I got to see a ruby-throated, yeah, ruby-throated hummingbird. And then I I think the female came because she she wasn't as colorful. But, ooh, they're sitting right there so I can watch them when I'm doing dishes. And You kind of forget you're doing dishes. You're just like watching some kind of, you know, Audubon show or something. It's kind of cool. It's kind of good. Okay, so I, I found a new company, new to me. Everybody else out there probably knows about them. It's called the Ben Soap Company. All right, so they have this great lotion, Island Coconut. They've got some great deodorant. And they sent me a little sample of their soap, and oh, it smells amazing. It's beautiful. No, chem no bad chemicals, no parabens, no aluminum, none of the things that I can... I can't have any of those things, so um, thank you for having a company that I can actually use. But, you know, some of these things are um, not not inexpensive. So I want to make sure and share some of the good things that I find so that you don't, uh, you know, I mean, if you want to spend your money, you give it a try. Ben Soap Company, I'm not getting paid for it or anything. I just think they smell amazing, and I'm so happy that they uh, they don't have any harsh chemicals or anything. So anyway, that's all I have for today. So I hope you like my fireplace. <laughs> Maybe in the winter I'll turn it on. I was just glowing like crazy and I just thought we we can't. We can't do that. So anyway, just pretend. Imagine that it's this beautiful fireplace and we had a little fireside chat today. So anyway, I hope things are going well with all of you. I wish you many, many hours of happy stitching and uh, we'll chat soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>